right guys, Dreadnought's back here today with another review. We're going to be looking at the Amazon exclusive Marvel Legends Infinite Series Avengers Age of Ultron 4 pack. Super stoked to take a look at this thing. It includes Thor, Black Widow, Bruce Banner, and Hawkeye. Came in a single piece shipping box. Amazon did a great job at over 20 inches long uh, with the shipping. No problems at all. Perfect condition. Uh, we'll take a look at the packaging as you can see here on the side. Got some great character art and the Avengers Initiative logo. Same thing on the other side. The top has another Avengers Age of Ultron logo. And on the bottom, not much going on. I'll try to keep the glare down with the light, but it's a massive sheet of plastic. We'll take a look at the back here. It's got more of a character description. And there's Hawkeye, Bruce Banner. Black Widow and Thor there at the end. So let's break this thing in and start taking a look at one of the figures. Alright and here's Black Widow out of the package and of course I like this figure. I do have to say right off the bat though I don't think there was enough improvement put into this figure to be worth the trouble. I think Hasbro missed a huge opportunity here to improve on that face sculpt. You know last time with the Winter Soldier version the major complaint was the blank stare on the face. Captures a pretty good likeness, but a lot of people just weren't happy with the way that expression was. I don't think the paint apps added here improved on that at all. I do like the blue piping and the addition of some accessories, but I think there was some definite room for improvement on this figure, and I don't think uh, Hasbro came through there. And a closer look at the accessories. Here are her batons, and as you can see, it's a real pliable material, bends really easily, and this one on the left, you know, came in, you know, look, looking kind of curled uh, in shipping, so definitely going to need some heat to straighten that out. Nice paint apps, blue at the end, I like that color they used, uh, black on the handles, not much going on here overall. Um, Could have used a gun or two guns with Black Widow this time. I think that would have been a huge improvement to include those, uh, but we just didn't get it. And now getting a closer look at that head sculpt, and it looks good, you know, the likeness looks good. You know, this is pretty much a repaint of the previous head we had, and uh, I think it resembles Scarlett Johansson enough. Now again, like I said about the expression, you know, it's not one of my major gripes, but it definitely was uh, a topic with most collectors. Um, like with the last one, we got some good shading in the hair, great sculpt on the hair. I do like it. You know, I'm not sure about the lips. They look a little too red for me, but, uh, you know, looks good. Eyes look great. Uh, as we go down here, looks like. We got some new sculpting here on the midsection. This looks pretty much the same with the collar, you know, other than the addition of the blue, and I like it. You can see it runs through there. Uh, nothing going on paint wise on the back, but midsection in this back, you know, where her butt is. Um, we got this flap here that wasn't on the previous figure, and here we had a belt. That went across on the previous figure and we have the belt down here now with the uh, the widow symbol here instead of up here so this looks to be a new piece here and a new piece here uh, the rest you know up top you know looking good looking good um, great detail in the zipper and great paint apps here with the widow's belt you know I'm not a fan of this and uh, with the holsters and the guns, you know, being made on, would have been nice to see this redesigned for this figure. Great paint apps, though, here uh, with the clasp and the silver. But, you know, I, I just don't like this. You know, like removable guns, or, you know, even if they left the holsters and some removable guns, it would have been nice. Not sure I like the blue, it looks kind of cheap here on the knee pads. It's off center. You get a better look at that. Same thing on this side. It just doesn't come together very well, I think, here. 
and there's some overspray you can see blue down here below the knee piping down the side looks good you know no paint on the boots some good detail in the zipper but some paint apps could have been added here on these other clasps and we just didn't get it so you know overall paints okay uh, not great and looking at articulation the head moves up that far moves down a good bit arm rotates out all the way up very nice and rotates all the way around no bicep swivel oh, and I notice here hmm, looks like with the Hawkeye it's missing the logo uh, again and of course this is repainted but should have been some shield logos or something and they, they probably aren't in Age of Ultron so they just reused this and painted over it but I'm not sure I like that kind of the same problem we saw with Hawkeye in my previous review anyway uh, no bicep swivel single jointed elbows wrist rotation yeah, no hinge on the wrist alright and the ab crunch it doesn't seem to crunch at all only that far back so there's just a slight bit of movement I believe we got more ab crunch with the other build it could be this this new part we were talking about um, doesn't pivot either so no waist rotation I'm liking that let's have upper leg rotation but it's hindered by the holsters being attached and I tried to pry these off and they just don't seem to move double jointed knees and the hips only move out that far again hindered by the guns and it will move forward that much move back that much got ankle rocker which is good and ankle hinge moves that far forward and that far back and these do rotate around on that rocker and here she is next to the Toy Biz Black Widow on the right, Marvel Legends, and the Diamond Select Black Widow on the left. And as you can see here, we have just not gotten great Black Widow figures. This was an atrocity <laughs> with this neck and the dirt buys on this figure. And trust me, I looked at many of these figures and that was a common problem with that figure. Just horrible. I don't even display these two. Um but in rare occasions um, she's measuring in at looks like right under six inches here she is next to the winter soldier black widow here on the right marvel legends from hasbro and i gotta say uh, between the two i'm preferring this version i'm liking that skin tone a lot better uh, let's try a little head swap here just to see and we'll pop this off and I have the alternate head uh, from the Winter Soldier Black Widow and it is really loose on here but you can kind of see it doesn't look too bad uh, but there's a little bit of difference in the skin tone there so yeah um, you know I think I'm liking the original version better as far as paint apps and um, I don't know hair color I could go either way this is a little more of a brighter shade of red uh, than this one um, but I think I'm liking the facial features more on this one and um, the sloppiness here I'm just I, I'm really thinking this takes a lot away from this figure all right all in all they're both sexy figures I like them both but I think it comes down to personal preference and choice Personally, I prefer the Winter Soldier version more just because the skin tone, I like the paint apps a little bit better. Don't have the sloppiness that we see on this figure as much. But if I had missed out on this figure, then this would have been a great bonus to get this figure in the four pack. Also, if you're a completionist and you got to have all the figures from Age of Ultron, then of course you're going to want to have this figure as well. It's just not an upgrade. 
in my mind. Only addition that you get are these batons, and they really don't add a lot to the figure. So, thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys getting some more likes. And, uh, excuse me, I'm starting to go hoarse a little bit here at the end. But, um, you know, I'm loving doing these videos for you guys, and, I, and I'm loving some of the feedback I'm getting. So, you know, keep it coming. You know, I hope you keep watching. You know, again, I'll, I'll link the Twitter below in the description, posting the videos up there. And uh, I plan to keep them coming. So if you have requests or you have ideas, comparisons you want to see, please let me know. Like I said before, I'm more than willing to pull stuff out of my collection and take a look at it. And again, I can't tell you how much I appreciate you guys watching. And uh, just, uh, you know, if you enjoyed the video, click like. You know, please subscribe because uh, we're going to keep the material coming. So have a great day, and we'll see you soon.